Jacob Zuma, the enigmatic figure who would come to dominate South African politics for over a decade, started his political journey from humble beginnings. Born and raised in the rural landscapes of KwaZulu-Natal, Zuma's early life was far from the glitz and glamour of political power. Yet it was this very upbringing that shaped his political philosophy and sparked his interest in the African National Congress, or ANC, a party he would one day lead. Young Zuma's life took a dramatic turn when he was detained and imprisoned during the tumultuous era of apartheid. This period of adversity, while challenging, played a crucial role in shaping his political convictions. It was during his time behind bars that Zuma found his voice, honing his skills as a charismatic leader and an astute political strategist. Upon his release, Zuma's political career took off, his charisma and popular appeal resonating with the masses. His rise within the ANC was meteoric. From a foot soldier in the party, he ascended the ranks, eventually being elected as the president of the ANC. His leadership style, marked by a unique blend of intellect and grassroots appeal, won him favor among party members and the general public alike. But Zuma's journey was not without its share of controversies. His tenure as the president of the ANC was marked by numerous political setbacks and legal challenges. However, his political resilience and the unwavering support of his base saw him navigate these challenges with an almost uncanny ability, further cementing his place in South Africa's political landscape. From a humble beginning to the presidency of the ANC, Zuma was steadily carving out a place for himself in South Africa's political landscape. His story, marked by struggle, resilience, and an undying spirit, is a testament to his indomitable will and his unyielding belief in the power of the people. With his presidency, Zuma's influence on South African politics was undeniable and far-reaching. Jacob Zuma, a man of humble beginnings, ascended to the highest office in South Africa, not once but twice. His tenacity and ability to connect with the masses were instrumental in his rise to power. As president, Zuma introduced a number of policies aimed at empowering the economically disadvantaged. His administration focused on job creation, improving health care and expanding educational opportunities. However, his tenure was not without controversy. One of the most prominent controversies was his relationship with the Gupta family. The Guptas, a wealthy business family, were accused of wielding significant influence in Zuma's government, leading to allegations of state capture. Zuma himself faced numerous charges of corruption, casting a shadow over his presidency. In addition to the corruption allegations, Zuma also faced a highly publicized rape trial. The trial, which ended in his acquittal, sparked national debate about gender violence and the treatment of rape victims in the court system. Despite these controversies, Zuma remained a formidable figure in South African politics. Zuma's relationship with the public was complex. He was a charismatic leader who was able to connect with ordinary South Africans on a deeply personal level. His popularity, particularly among the rural poor, helped him weather the various scandals that marked his presidency. However, the controversies did not end with his presidency. After leaving office, Zuma continued to face legal challenges, including a jail sentence for contempt of court. Yet, through it all, Zuma's influence remained significant. His ability to mobilize support and his continued involvement in politics through the Umkonto Wesizwe party attest to his enduring political resilience. Despite the controversies, Zuma's presidency left an indelible mark on South Africa. His rise to power, his policies, and the scandals that marked his tenure continue to shape the country's political landscape. Whether celebrated or condemned, Jacob Zuma's reign is a chapter of South African history that will not be easily forgotten. Even after his presidency, Zuma's political journey was far from over. Jacob Zuma, South Africa's two-term president, continued to play a significant role in the country's politics despite a series of legal challenges and political setbacks. His resilience is nothing short of remarkable. After his presidency, Zuma created the Umkonto Wesitswe party, aligning himself with a new political force. This move was seen as a direct challenge to the ruling African National Congress, shaking the very foundations of South African politics. 
Despite being initially barred from the May elections due to a criminal conviction, Zuma's political resilience shone through. The electoral court declared him eligible to run, keeping his political career alive against all odds. Zuma's post-presidency influence cannot be understated. His grassroots support and his ability to navigate scandals have helped him maintain a strong presence in the political landscape. Zuma has faced corruption charges, a rape trial, and accusations of misusing public funds for personal gain. Yet he has managed to weather these storms, largely due to his political astuteness and the support he enjoys at the grassroots level. His political maneuvering also extended to his new party. The Umkwonto Wesizwa party, under Zuma's leadership, has been a force to reckon with. Despite the controversies surrounding Zuma, his party has gained considerable support, posing a significant challenge to the African National Congress. Zuma's journey is a complex one, marked by resilience in the face of adversity. It's a journey that has seen him rise to the highest office, face significant challenges, and yet continue to influence the politics of his country. Zuma's political journey is a testament to his resilience, his influence, and his ability to navigate the tumultuous waters of South African politics. Beyond his political journey, Jacob Zuma, the man, is a figure of interest. Known for his charisma and his ability to connect with people at the grassroots level, Zuma has also led a fascinating personal life. He's a father to more than 20 children, his large family reflecting his traditional Zulu upbringing. But it's not just his family life that captures attention. His wealth, too, sparks curiosity. He has amassed significant wealth over the years, a combination of his political career, business ventures, and notably, his close ties with the influential Gupta family. His personal life, however, has not been without controversy. Accusations of corruption and misuse of public funds for personal gain have marred his image. Yet, Zuma's ability to navigate these obstacles, much like a crocodile maneuvering through water, showcases his political acumen. His strategy, often referred to as Crocodile Tears Intelligence, is a testament to his ability to use adversity to his advantage. This strategy, coupled with his grassroots support, has been instrumental in establishing the Umkonto Wesizwe party. The legacy Zuma leaves behind is as multifaceted as the man himself. On one hand, he is seen as a resilient leader who has made significant contributions to South African politics. On the other, he is viewed as a controversial figure, embroiled in numerous scandals. However, it's undeniable that Zuma has left an indelible mark on South Africa's political landscape. His influence continues to be felt, particularly in his home province of KwaZulu-Natal, where his party, the Umkonto Wesizwe, garners significant support. Jacob Zuma, a man of many facets, leaves behind a legacy that is as complex as the man himself. Jacob Zuma's influence on South African politics remains, despite his absence from the political stage. His political journey, marked by resilience, controversy and undeniable influence, has left a lasting impact on the landscape of South African politics. Zuma, a two-time president, continues to be a figure of significant influence thanks to his political dexterity and grassroots support. Despite numerous scandals and setbacks, his political resilience is undeniable. Even after being barred from running in the general elections due to a criminal conviction, Zuma managed to turn the tide, getting declared eligible to run by the electoral court. His role in the Umkonto Wasizwe party, also known as the MK party, is particularly noteworthy. Under his intellectual guidance, the MK party has grown in prominence, posing a formidable challenge to the ruling African National Congress. His strategic maneuvering and the party's crocodile tears intelligence, a cunning strategy of appearing weaker to gain sympathy and support, have played a significant role in this rise. Zuma's influence is not just limited to the political sphere, his personal journey, from his early struggles to his accumulation of wealth, has become a symbol of resilience for many. He has 22 children, a testament to his large family that often finds itself in the public eye. Furthermore, his influence extends to the socio-economic fabric of South Africa. 
Despite controversies, he has been a positive factor in many aspects. His political journey has inspired many and his policies have contributed to the development of the nation. Looking ahead, the ongoing influence of Zuma may continue to shape the political landscape of South Africa. His role in the MK party, his grassroots support, and his resilience in the face of adversity suggest a potential future in politics, even if behind the scenes. Jacob Zuma's political journey, marked by resilience, controversy and undeniable influence, continues to shape the landscape of South African politics. His story is a testament to the dynamic nature of politics, where setbacks can be turned into opportunities, and influence can be retained, even in the face of adversity.